Okay, markets. Go to markets on the left hand side. Markets, markets, markets. Under gift Here cards. Yeah. Okay. Maybe click on international. Mm. Let's remove market, bottom right hand corner. Mm. Yeah. Remove? Yes. Now let's click add market. Scroll top right. And then select not in any market. Scroll up. And then select all. Everything, yeah. But not keep it on not any market, but pick pick everything, yeah. Scroll down, scroll down. Yep, and then scroll up and then check everything that's it keep going what about you up to yes keep going yep oh, i think that's everything you can name it international add it you can put in a name Putting like international and then add market. Okay, now let's go to shipping and delivery on the left hand side. So, shipping in this side? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Scroll down. Scroll down. Okay. Scroll back up to the top. Click on the general shipping rates. And scroll down. So let's remove Australia. Let's remove international. Okay, click the show details. Um, yep. Okay, I don't know if we need to delete one. Mm. What are we trying to do here? Delete the second one. Shop this location. One? The shop location. Um, scroll down. Um, you know how this yeah. one. Yeah, that one. Remove rates for, yep. Now click add rate. Bottom left hand corner. You can, yep, use flat rate. Custom, international, standard international. It doesn't give me more options. Well, but you can type in the right name, the right okay. name would be standard international. International right? Yeah, international right, yeah. And then the price will be five ninety five. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah? Yes. Um okay, remove it, delete the international rates. Remove so, it. Yeah, remove it. That was a mistake. My bad. Delete okay. the crate zone. Um, bottom left hand corner, crate zone. Yep, that works. And now this would call international. And then you select all everything. And then you can scroll down to check if everything's selected. Yeah, it looks like you're here. Except select the, these three. Select those the those three. That's awesome. Done. Okay, click add rate. 
uh, on, on the, the international. Cancel this one. Cancel okay. this one. Under international. Below, below, below. Yep, that one. Below, down, 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 down. Yep, there you go. Add a right. International. Right. Price? Five ninety-five. Let's see. International nine ninety-five. Hey. Now we want to go on one of your website tabs and we'll check to see if it works, if we can check out. So you want me to go to add to cart. Okay. Buy add to car. Check out. And then back details. Sorry, where? Put in fake details, like put in an email address. Yep, that works. And then let's see if the shipping works. Oh, why does it say ten dollars? Do we set ten dollars? No, not five ninety five. Ah, uh, one second. Let's go back and check. Uh, go back to Shopify. Um, go back to shipping and delivery. With the top general. Our first one. Go up. Go up. Go this up. one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. We'll scroll down. Yeah, where's the internet? Where, why is it ten dollars? That's so weird. Oh, maybe um six USD is ten Australian dollars. That might be why. Six USD equals ten Australian dollars. Is it? Yeah. Now maybe try putting a United States address. Go back to the checkout tab. I think it's the next tab. I have to ah uh, because do you reckon it's because I have two? And then click checkout. And then put in a American address. Um one, two, three, fake street. Yep, maybe one of those will work. Put in a zip code. Oh, that's weird. Enter shipping address to view. That is the shipping address. Oh no, click on is it 23rd Street? Is or is there a name of it? 23rd John no, Street. That was my old one. Big up. Address is missing the address here. Yeah. yeah, click on one of those. Oh, it's weird. The shipping didn't pop up. Hmm. Enter cheap an address. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Looks like shipping's working. We got it set up. Free. Oh, but the downside, the delivery. Click on delivery. Click on the countries. On the delivery, go up, um, click on United States. Yeah, why is there only three countries available? That's so strange. Hmm. Oh, I know why. Go back to Shopify. Go to locate uh, markets. Markets, markets. Here we go, markets. And then click on international. And then click on inactive, top right-hand corner. And make it active. Perfect. Now let's refresh the checkout page to see if other countries can check out. Fingers crossed. Whoa, it's still stuck. Hmm. Why is that? OK, 
timer. Let's go back to Shopify settings. Or maybe yeah, we'll refresh. We'll try one more time. Uh, yeah, but one second. Let's, let's do a quick refresh here. Move right to the car. Ooh. Oh, yes. That's what you want? Yes. And then let's add to cart and check out. Um, US, can we put US, United States? Okay. Check out. Okay. And then click on the countries. Yes, we got it. So you're all set up. So for US is free, but for any other country is five ninety five. Correct. Let's put in a UK address. Yep, it's working. Five ninety five equals five pounds. That means that I, I need to get rid of this free shipping. Um, you can change it to free domestic shipping. Yeah. But only for US, yeah? Correct. Okay, man. I'll add that into a note. Change banner to free domestic shipping. 